Hi everyone, so because of the new players from console joining us, I thought it would be helpful if I did a new player guide. Just the real basics of what Path of Titans is and the different ways and the different ways you can play it. Okay, first up, choosing your dino. If you have difficulty choosing your first dino or you want to see what dinos are available, you can go to upgrades. Here you will find all the dinosaurs available in the game. At the moment, there are 26. You can choose a dino from the list and see its roars and other emotes. You can also go up to the abilities tab to read through the abilities once they are fully grown. Single player. If you want to play by yourself, you can do this in single player. There are no other dinos, players or NPCs or any other thing in your world. I mainly use single player for screenshots because Path of, Titan, Path of Titans works with um, Nvidia Ansel. In single player, you can set the time and the weather. Multiplayer. I suggest once you start the game, go hop into a multiplayer game. In here you will start in the tutorial area. The tutorial will show you how to use the emote wheel, pick up items and do quests. Once you have completed the tutorial, you can go to the big bad world and explore. In multiplayer, there are really no rules to speak of. People can kill you because like they feel like it. Some do roleplay, but this is more a PvP focused place. Multiplayer is also the official service of Path of Titans. Community servers. These servers are run by the community and normally has strict rules to keep it fair for everyone. Some servers also have gone as far as creating profiles for dinos to help with the dino's behavior. For example, a spino is a lone dino and will attack any other predator near their body of water. Where a Denonicus is a social creature run by a female. These servers range from strict roleplay to more casual with friends vibe. Always join the Discord server to make sure that you are not breaking any of the server rules. Some servers will ask you for a little interview before joining. Now let's talk about the map. You are this icon. The green leaf is a teleport spot. The blue triangle is your home cave. You can collect marks by doing quests. Marks can buy you skins for your dino, or you can buy rooms and decorations for your home cave. This icon is a travel quest. It's a game's way of telling you to go explore. This icon with a little scratch is a burrow. If you are a fast carnivore, you'll be able to scratch at the burrow and after a while a little stack will appear and try to run away from you. The blue quests are personal quests, only for you. The red quests are area quests. You can choose to do them or move on. Once you have moved on to another area, your previous quests would have disappeared and the new area's quests will pop up. When you're in a party, some quests will turn green. These are party quests and can be completed by everyone in your party. I hope this mini tutorial helped you guys in better understanding what Path of Titans is. For me, in my experience, it is not a really fast-paced game, so you'll mostly be walking around trying to find other people and just cause basically causing chaos. Or you can go into community service and roleplay in a herd or try to be the dinosaur as best you can be. Okay guys, I hope you like this. Please comment, share and subscribe and I will see you on the next one.